Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's flip. So this is week 50. Uh, just a, a couple more left for this year and I have my rings and my Hobonichi cousin to show you this week. So I'll start off with my rings. They haven't changed all that much. I've just removed some notes pages so it should be quite a quick little flip. I still have the same things in the pockets, nothing's changed. I did add this little picture that my kiddo drew on top of this little freebie card here. I've got rid of all the things at the back here apart from this little 2023 um, little card there. Still pictures and dashboards. I might change these up uh, in the next couple of weeks ready for next year. I could probably take this um, one out now. I might do that in the next week or so. And then I have this freebie from my Minimal Planner, just with some little pictures on the back. And then the monthly that I'm using in here is SM Plans. So I have started to fill some of that out. And then at the back, I have... December slipped in here as well as I do still need that. More pictures and then my weekly so this will come out for next year but I really do love looking at these pages and uh, this is this week and then next week my little inbox section and to buy list there and then it goes on to my dailies so I was using these um, down a page and then I did change to SM plans just note paper so that I could just make a list of everything that I need to do this is today my daughter spellings and then I have planned out the rest of the week I am thinking about doing two days on a page next week just to see if that might work a little bit better. Some days I do use, oh, I don't know why I missed that page, but I did. Um, like these days I probably could have gotten on one page. Um, some days they are quite long, but other days is short. I'm thinking if I do kind of split the page in half and do a day on each side, then if it's a long day, I can always make two lists rather than one but we'll see what happens next week um so i just have a bunch of that paper in here a little sticky note there for a weekly review my dashboards and then this from my minimal planner i have my goals for next year my bucket list for this year and next year which i need to work on already I did update this uh, and I did get quite a few things done. I should count at the end and see exactly how many things I've got done. My memory sheet for this year and next year. My reading logs for this year which needs updating again. And then I have one for next year. And then I have my daily gratitude sheets can't remember if I said last week but these will be coming out at the end of the year and then I have some trackers I think there's that one's for reading I think I'm going to track reading on one side and then journaling on the other side my workout tracker for this year and next year health tracker for next year health and cycle tracker for this year which I am going to put on this one from Peanuts Panico. And then I just have all my health logs and my weight log and body measurements sheet there. I have my mood tracker key, which again might come out. Um, I shall see, along with my mood log at the back. And then my tracker i am just using this one here then i have my lists and notes so i did mention already that i took some out 
Um, I might take all these recipes and things out as well. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I just have various lists and notes in there. Pictures from my kiddos. And this is more my list section here. So I've got trigger lists and then future goals and shop stuff, shop expenses, that sort of thing in there. <coughs> then I have my kiddos stuff at the back. So I've got a schedule and then all of their health logs and then the pets health logs at the back. My little pocket at the back here, I just have a letter and then some shop orders that I have just dispatched. Pockets are all still very, very similar. Um, same with the back there. And in the back pocket, I don't think I've changed anything. And then my cousin, I will do a setup kind of flip of this if that is something you are interested in. I have just started to date, kind of put a few dates and things in. I want to do something with these pages, but I'm not sure what yet. Same with these ones. Um, I don't know if I should put the vinyl on here or what. Well, I might just stick a few pictures and things down. So I haven't done anything with this yet. Here I am going to use for a tracker for the whole year. So that's why it's coming out of my rings. And then I did just do some planning for the months so I've got something just for December and then the rest of next year I have got these little stickers here from Planner Monkey Co which I thought were super cute so I'm really enjoying those I still need to color code all this but I haven't done that yet so that's what I've done for all of the months here I haven't done into 2024. I don't know if I will yet. I'll leave that until later. And then the week. So this starts on the 26th of December. And as you can see, I've just kind of been brainstorming about what I want to use this space for. So I'm thinking of doing gratitude up at the top. Weekly to do's here. I can either do meals kind of at the bottom or on the side here. I'm not sure. And then the main bulk of this will be events, appointments, shop stuff and school stuff. And then I am going to break down, I think, a little section at the bottom here. So it might be um, stuff I need to buy, stuff I need to, maybe stuff I'm waiting on, um, that kind of thing down at the bottom here. But that is still a little bit of a work in progress. And then the daily pages, this cover page, you get one of these every month. And I'm going to write my monthly goals on there. And then the daily pages are going to be for to-dos, journaling and just notes. I don't know if I'll use this schedule bit here as a schedule and do my to-dos underneath. Or I might just do to-dos on the whole um, column down here. I'm not sure, but I will update you when I know more on that. And that is everything for this week. Any questions, leave them down below. And if not, I shall see you for week 51 next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.